guys, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and in today's video I'm showing you some of the ways you can quickly spot the difference between a document and a template in Microsoft Word. Now, templates and documents are often referred to as interchangeable things but that's not actually the case. The truth is that they have very different purposes and very different definitions. So let's get stuck in. So let's start by talking about what actually is a document or a template. Are they the same thing? No. Are they used regularly incorrectly? Yes. So documents and templates are both different types of files you can create in Word. Now, typically we talk about everything that we create in Word as a document, but that's actually not the case. You can create two, well, you can create more, but the two key file types that we're talking about here are documents and templates. So documents are the standard files. If you open up a brand new blank file in Word, it's called a blank document and it opens and it will save as a DOCX or a document file. Now, a template is a preserved pattern that you can create documents from. So the analogy I'm gonna use in this video is like a recipe. A template is the recipe. It's the outline, it tells you all the steps, it's got everything there. And then the document is your finished product you make from the recipe. So if we're talking about a cookie recipe or a biscuit recipe, you make your biscuits, you make your batch based on the recipe, but you can tweak and change it. So you can make chocolate chip biscuits, you can make Anzac biscuits, you can make filled biscuits, plain biscuits, sweet biscuits, savory biscuits, all by tweaking the recipe slightly. So the recipe underneath stays the same and then you change it to make it different. The template stays the same underneath and we edit and vary it to become an individual document. You can go back to the template or our recipe and create a new copy and edit it again. But we've kept all of those core elements together. Now, when we're talking about Word, that's things like our formatting, our styles, our alignment, our spacing, our headers and footers, all those things that take all the time to get right in the beginning. So once you've got those right, making a template locks all of that in and means you've got a solid base to work from that you can then use to create customized documents. And here's a really quick way that you can spot the difference immediately from your file on your uh, OneDrive, Dropbox, whatever it might be, wherever you're keeping your files. It's the file type. So when you open your browser window or your OneDrive folder or whatever you're looking for your content, Let's look at the very end of our documents or of our files in Word. So if your file ends in dot .docx or .docs or .doc, depending on the version you're using, then that is a document. That's an active file that you can edit and finalize. You can PDF it, you can send it out. But if you were to open it up and make edits, you're writing over it and you're removing what was there originally and you can't get that back. Okay, well you can, but for this purpose, we've written over it. It's a live active current file and that is a document. A DOTX file or DOT or DOTS, that's a template. So this DOC doc, DOT for template. A template file, when you open it up, actually opens up a brand new fresh document, pulls all of that formatting from your recipe, from the template, puts all of that in, and then you can customize and create it, and you can save it anywhere you like. You can go back to your template, open it up again, and get that nice fresh start, and start all over again. Super, super simple. Check your file names and see which ones you have. So now, let's bust a couple of really common myths about templates and why they are so useful for you. So this is a really common myth. People say to me all the time, well, templates are all the same and it means nothing I do is gonna look any different. And that's absolutely not the case. Template gives you that solid basis, all the formatting, all the faffing stuff that you spend all of your time mucking around with, you lock that in in a template. And then what you can do is customize things with client information, a proposal, uh, the specific scope of a project, your technical expertise in your report, the actual findings that you've got to share with someone, 
or the data and information that is relevant for this particular financial period or uh, pr project bid, whatever it might be. So the, the content in the document gets tailored, but you're focusing your time on where it really matters, which is that content, and not on whether the header and footer works properly or the page numbering's right or the alignment works or what your heading titles will be. You've done all of that already, building that into that recipe, that template. So it saves time, it helps you look more consistent. Someone who gets a proposal, a report, an invoice, it'll all look the same because you're using the same tools, layouts and features each time. What's not to love? Another thing I hear a lot is that using templates is lazy and I'm not being paid to be lazy. Well, no, but you are being paid to be efficient and proactive and to get the job done. And working smarter isn't lazy. What it means is that you're actually focusing your time and your energy and your mental bandwidth on the bit that matters, what you're saying in your piece of content, whether it's your social media reporting, your financials, technical expertise, professional services, a proposal that you need to get just right to get across the line. Wouldn't you rather be spending your time on that than worrying about the headers, the footers, the page numbering and the color of the headings? Just makes sense. And the last myth that I get told all the time from people when I start banging on about templates is that I can't use a template because everything I do is completely different every time. And that's brilliant. What that means is that you're giving a customized, tailored experience to everybody who touches, touches base with you at any point in the journey, which is fantastic and means that they don't feel like it's a cookie cutter approach. Perfect. But your branding is the same every time. Your company logo is the same every time. Your tagline and contact details are the same. Are you putting those in every time? Are you creating them from scratch? And do they then look consistent? So when someone gets a proposal from you and then they might not take that job and come back again in six months or 12 months time and they get another proposal from you, will they recognize it as being from the same place? Does it follow the same pattern? Do they know where to look for the fee? Are you making it easy for people to find the information that's relevant to them? Templates will do that for you because it means you've got a consistent outline to follow every time. So yes, you can customize it for the industry, the client, the department, the board member, whatever it is that you're preparing your content for. You can absolutely customize it. And I, I am 100% on board with that but it needs to look like it came from the same place. And it needs to provide that consistent professionalism and consistent, consistency breeds uh, a sense of confidence and trust. If I buy from somebody today and I get uh, something packaged a certain way and it arrives looking a certain way and I get a receipt and I get an email that explains everything and that's the process I get this time, that's going to make me go, right, well, I know what to get now. So next time I order from them, I'm looking for the email. I'm expecting it to look the same when it arrives. I expect the same sort of time frames. And if you change that up every time, what you're doing is damaging your brand. And nobody wants that. So let's work smarter. Let's work faster. Let's focus on what's important. And let's create templates. So let's summarize. Here's what we've learned today. Documents end in a DOCX file name and templates end in a DOTX file name. If when you open up your document file or your template, it has new document like document one, document two, and it doesn't have a particular file name at the top, you've opened a template. And therefore, if you open up your file and it has the name that it's been saved as, as the file type in the top of the document, then you've opened a document and it's a live document and any changes you make are going to overwrite the file. So which ones are you using? Documents or templates? Did you know the difference beforehand? What changes are you going to make now to ensure that you are working smarter, faster and more professionally with your documents and templates. Let me know by popping a comment on this video. 
Subscribe to my channel to receive the latest updates on new videos when they come out so you can get more tips like this across all of Microsoft 365. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to find me on any of the social media channels. Just search for Thrive Admin Services. Cheers.